Hey everyone, David Cavanaugh, Certified Financial Planner here. Before I went out for a jog, I was answering a couple of emails and had one in particular though that I get often and it leads into a lot of times into an area that um, I see the most mistakes made in our financial lives. And, and the email was pretty simple. It was, you know, hey, David, I'm getting a promotion at work and with that comes a raise. Should I, um, you know, should I be contributing more to my 401k plan here? And, um, you know, that, that's something I get often. A, you know, it's a great situation to be in. You're stepping up in your company. You're increasing your income. But before you max out your 401k, here, here's the order of operations, things that I like to think about. One is, you know, A, are you taking advantage, full advantage of your employer match? And if, if the answer to that is no, then yes, I want you to step up and, and make sure that you're taking that free money that you get as part of, you know, being an employee with your company. And Make sure that, you know, you are getting that immediate return on your investment through your benefits package. But before you contribute more to your 401k, I want to take a look at, you know, what you're doing in the rest of your investments and savings and what your financial life looks like. Do you have enough in savings? Does your emergency fund adequately uh, supported? Do you have, you know, that level of comfort? For some, it's two months. I've seen people want to have six, nine, 12 months of cash on hand. And, you know, we can have a further discussion on that, that philosophy and how much you need to have there. But then, you know, what about, um, you know, in the other aspects of your plan and, and in your life, are you, you know, contributing? Did you max out your HSA? But the most important area, and this is the one where I see, I think the most um, mistakes get made is we focus so much on our tax deferred our tax advantaged accounts, whether it's a 401k or Roth or HSA, that we don't you know, do anything on our taxable side in our life and that we're not taking full advantage of making sure that we have access to funds should we need them um, for, for any number of things that come up, good and bad, whether it's a vacation or you know, a wedding for our kids um, or the emergency type stuff. You need a repair on your home your automobile and how do we you know access funds without being penalized without paying a ton of taxes on them and you know having that flexibility in our financial life is key and an area that i see the most people make the most mistakes when it comes to structuring their investments structuring their financial life and so want to make sure that you know we are placing our money in the right places and, and that's important to understand money placement versus investments. So just the thought, something I wanted to share with you and, and the thought process I go through when we're trying to decide, you know, where we're trying to put our money or should we put more in our 401k? Let's look at all aspects of your financial life. And I think by doing that, you'll set yourself up for greater success um, in reaching your goals. Hope you guys enjoy this day. Get out, enjoy it. We'll chat soon.